Hello everyone. Today we're going to start our first uh, C Sharp programming uh, tutorial video. On this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to uh, download and install Visual Studio and getting it ready for you to create your first Hello World program. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is our <clears throat> this is our blog. It's uh, softwarenow.com. There are numerous solutions, videos, source code. You can always contact us, leave us a comment. There's a learning center with a few tutorial. But let's go ahead and get started on today's uh, tutorial. So let's go to google.com first and, and type download Visual Studios. On the first uh, result, go ahead and click the uh, go to download. Make sure you click, uh, so it's going to be Visual Studio 2017. You make sure you click free download on the community part. All right, click no tank. So download is, so this is your downloading the installer of Visual Studio. So it's not the actual download of the app yet. So go ahead and click on the bottom left here once uh, it's completed. So it's going to install the Visual Studio installer. Just give it a second here. All right, so here's a prompt. Visual Studio Installer, before it gets started, uh, we need to set up a few things so that you can configure your installation. Go ahead and con click Continue. Now, go ahead and wait until the installation is complete. All right, once it's finished downloading here, it's going to verify the download, and then it's going to install. Just go ahead and wait until it finishes installing the bottom part here. All right, as you can see, there's a check mark here for the download. Now it's starting uh, the installation of uh, Visual Studio. All right, we're almost done. All right, installation is complete. As you can see, it says almost done, getting everything ready. All right, once your installation is complete, uh, the Visual Studio installer is gonna up, open up. And as you can see here, it says almost here, getting ready to, to getting ready to finish installation. Just give it a second. All right, once it's uh, Visual Studio installer installation is complete, now you're gonna be, you're gonna be prompt here for some options, to pick some options for development. There are multiple options uh, where you can select ASP.NET, you can select Azure Development, Python, Node.js, uh, Database Storage, Office. But for the purpose of these uh, tutorials, all we need is going to be the .NET Desktop Development, which is build WPF, Windows Form, and console application using C Sharp, Visual Basic, and F Sharp. And go ahead and select it and uh, it's calculating the total space required here. And it, it, this one, it's about uh, 3.18 gigabytes. Go ahead and click install. Now you're going to see the install operation happening over here on this box. Uh, well, on the, this install portion of the Visual Studio installation. Now, just, it, takes, it takes a couple of minutes, maybe five to ten minutes. As you can see, downloads first and then installs it. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and wait until it downloads and it installs it. Yeah, just make sure you wait until everything it's downloaded and installed a hundred percent before exiting out or doing anything else with your computer. It takes a little longer tonight. All right. So it is now done. The download and the installation. Just give it a just give it a second there to finish it up. All right, just give it a second. All 
if you have this button uh, selected here, start after installation, Visual Studio will start right after this finishing up portion here, uh, it's completed. There you go. As you can see, Visual Studio, Visual Studio, it's now starting. It says Visual Studio 2017 screen just came up. Now it's uh, Visual Studio, the screen came up and it says we are getting uh, things ready. Thanks for your patience. As you can see, there's a, a, a loading progress bar here. Now it says we are preparing for first use. This might take a few minutes. So depending on your machine, it might take five minutes, four minutes. So just be patient and just wait until it's done. All right. All right, it's now complete. Visual Studio, it's opening. So it opens on this, the startup page. Uh, on the startup page, there's no much to, to do here besides create a, new, create a new project or open recent projects because we don't have any recent projects right now because we just installed Visual Studio. This list is empty right now. So uh, this is pretty much it right now for Visual Studios. Uh, you know what, let me take a little further and I'll show you the basic tools of Visual Studio right now. Just waiting until it finishes up, finishes setting up here. All right, now that it finished up uh, getting ready, as you can see here, my recent projects uh, came up. So on my recent uh, list. So let's get started on this uh, brief explanation of Visual Studio. So go ahead and click click create new project just for the purpose of this quick overview of visual studio we're going to uh, just select a uh, console application and click ok don't worry about anything else i just want to show you what visual studio looks like uh, prior to getting started to the next uh lesson next tutorial all right, so now it's creating our project called console app one. But on, once our project gets created, this is what it's gonna look like. Your main class of your code, it's here called main static. So this is where your code is gonna be in program.cs. You you know, in the future uh, tutorials, you're gonna be able to make multiple program um, multiple dot cs files uh, this is your solution explorer it's where you're going to find all your files like for example the program files is here you'll be able to right click on your uh, on your application uh solution explorer and you'll be able to add more you know files to it and here you, uh there's the toolbars on top on this one you can build and run your project you know, you can build your project here. You can run it. So this is the overview of Visual Studio. We're going to go a little bit more in depth in the next tutorials. So feel, feel free to send us an email, a message, or drop us a comment. If anything, visit our blog. Um,